welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to make two sizes for our hair scrunchie. So we have here two elastic. And I'm going to use my 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm going to use this very colorful yarn. So let's get started. So I will just make a simple knot on our elastic band. And we're just going to start by making a single crochet around our elastic band. So continue doing your single crochet around your elastic band. So once you're done with a single crochet around, we're going to make a slip stitch on the first one and chain three. And make one double crochet on the same chain chain one one double crochet again on the same chain chain one and make three double crochets on the next chain making one uh, chain in between So chain one again and on the next chain one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one and last double crochet so we make one chain in between the three double crochets that we made and on the last one we're going to make a chain of one again and continue making three uh, double crochets on all of the chains with one chain in between so continue your three double crochets with one chain in between until you reach the very first chain three that we made and we're going to make a slip stitch so now we are done with the small one. I made a slip stitch and I will just cut my yarn. And then you need to sew your end later on. So this is the small one and now we're ready to begin using the same elastic, a more fluffy uh, scrunchie. So we're going to use the same crochet hook, my 3.5. Make a simple knot. You can grab your yarn, make your single crochet. In the same way, we started with the other scrunchie. So we're going to make a single crochet around our elastic. So now we are done with a single crochet around our elastic and we made a slip stitch. So now, chain 8. Seven and eight and we're going to slip stitch on the same chain again chain eight and 
and slip stitch again on the same chain so we're going to do this three times so we need to do one more time again slip stitch on the same chain now we're going to start on the next chain chain 8 this time we're going to slip stitch on the next chain And we're going to repeat this one three times so three times you're going to make a chain of eight and you're going to slip stitch in every chain so we're going to repeat this around one two three four five six seven and eight slip stitch again on the same chain and the last one so how many we have we only have two one more slip stitch again on that same chain so repeat the pattern until you reach the last chain so this is how it looks like we are almost half just make sure that you don't miss a chain sometimes it is partially covered so you just have to stretch so you just have to stretch your project just like so so you can clearly see the next chain Just like this, you have to really stretch to see the next chain, especially when we reach uh, the end part. So this will be full already and you, you can only see this much, so you really have to stretch and take hold of the rest of the chains. For us not to miss any chain all right so i have finished i made my eight chains and we're going to slip stitch this will be the last it's already hard to hold and find the last stitch and i'm going to slip stitch on the very first chain and we're ready to close and cut our yarn. So these are our two. So I'm just going to uh, weave my end later on. So these, so these are our two scrunchies. So which one do you prefer? Both are so cute. So I'll just grab my yarn needle and let's just uh, weave this in and we are finally done. the same size of yarn our crochet hook and our 
elastic as well. So thank you so much for joining me today. Happy crocheting everyone and God bless.